guys and good evening what is going on this is the club of the man 1993 coming at you for a special little video I want to uh, give you guys just to share you know a personal experience that I had tonight so I mentioned a couple times in the last week or so that tonight at the World of Wheels convention in Pittsburgh the 58th annual World of Wheels convention I believe it was um, Roman Reigns was out there signing autographs from 6 to 8 p.m. now my friend and I got there a little extra earlier this year because I did have a family event that I was going to attend tonight. Unfortunately, it did not work out, but, you know, it, it's all good and, and handy that, you know, I didn't get to go to the family event. But the problem was we got there and the line for Roman was already so freaking long. Like, I was shocked beyond belief when I got there at 4.30. Again, the autograph sign started at 6, but at 4.30, the line was already, like, you know, like, almost, like, looped around the whole Top four, basically. It was it was super long. Like, there was probably about 500 people in front of us, uh, we were being told. We were being told also, of course, that we were, you know, in the cutoff line, which, you know, there's a chance that you may not get to, you know, get to, you know, have your moment with Roman, basically. Which I thought, oh, man, this just sucks. Which, you know, all fair square, I come up here several times, and I rant on the Roman Reigns booking for sure. Nonstop, of course, I have. And, you know... As I keep saying, I stuck up for him last year in, a, in an honest opinion video. You know, again, the guy is a great talent. Again, it's just him. His booking is the WWE telling us to, you know, screw you all. We're doing things our way. And that's why the guy got booed. Of course, you know, we all, you know, have still, you know, like, you know, like come together. Well, most of us at least have come together and, you know, at least supporting him for sure. As he's going through this rough time with his battle with leukemia for sure. As he's been out since the, the October 22nd edition of Raw. I've heard some reports saying here and there that it's not that deadly of a form that I've heard, which that it's rumors. I'm not sure if it's true, but I can say I can kind of believe it's rumors because I thought he looked pretty good tonight, um, like, you know, health-wise, um, when we saw him. But, um, so, yeah, you know, just a couple little of video, video clippers show I will show uh, because, I unfortunately, though, before we get to it, um, I didn't get to actually get a photo with him. And, of course, like I said before, the line was super long. Somebody said... This was the longest line they ever had for an autograph signing in, I'd say, six years. I think someone told me uh, while I was while while I was in line, and um, and rumors have also apparently some people have been there. Again, the autograph signing started at six. I got there at like four forty, four forty-five, and there are apparently have been people waiting there since noon, which I was shocked that they actually did allow that. But um, but Rome for some came out about. Roman for some came out about 15 minutes. And he came out at like around 6:15, and he signed a few, you know, um, handicapped people's autographs. You know, before he went to the stage, he signed the rest of the autographs. And uh, of course, he gave a nice little wave acknowledging the, the, the fans. And the fans gave him a nice ovation as well. Of course, you know, because you know we've all been wondering you know, how he's doing and whatnot since you know, he's been out. So obviously, there's a few times we thought about just backing out because you know we. The line seemed long and it seemed absolutely impossible for us to be able to, to you know, um, get up there and actually get our autograph. And we didn't think it was going to happen. Like, we're, we're probably not going to get it. We're probably just asleep. But the line was just so long. Like, you know, there were so many people that were probably not going to – were going to get cut off for sure. I'm like, I'm like – It'd be nice if, which first off, what I did appreciate the fact that, one, he did, like, you know, sign like, – the session was supposed to be from 6 to 8. He did stay – Signed for about 15, 20 extra minutes past 8 o'clock, which I think was good to do to make sure up for the time that you weren't out yet. And, you know, supposed to be 6 to 8, you know, with so many of us in line, you know, I'm sure we wanted to, you know, as I mean, let's get a chance as we can. But um, they stopped the line at, like, a cutoff line at some point. They had, like, you know, the rest of the guaranteed people go through. And then, out of respect, they let the rest of us who did not get to, um, to, um, to you know, meet to go up yet? They let us always go up there and shake his hand and at least to say like a word or two to him if you wanted to. So I didn't get an autograph. I didn't get a good photo. I mean, the only good photo, the only photo, because we were we were moving through the line quickly. I was trying to get like like a selfie with him in the background, but every time I tried taking a photo, you know, someone else was staying in the way. Like the one I'm showing up on the screen right now is probably the best one you can see. If you just zoom in just a little bit right here, you can see him right 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 there. Um, but um. So I just, at first, I was gonna walk up there holding my camera, uh, well, my camera, my phone, like I, I, I like, you know, like you know, re uh, record me talking and shaking his hand. But I didn't know if it was allowed. I didn't want to get in trouble. I'm like, I'd rather you know meet the guy than you know risk getting in trouble, not be able to meet the guy. I went up to him though, I shook his hand, and I just said, "Hey, thank you, Roman, for everything that you've done for us. Thank you, of course, for letting us you know, 
the rest of us still come up to say hello to you. And, you know, I look forward to seeing you back in the ring some of the fraternity. He said, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. You know what? It was short. It was not It was not that long. It was just a couple seconds. But you know what? I still got to meet the guy. Man, it's sad I'm not going to have you know, a photo to look back on the experience. You know, like I have where, you know, Daniel Bryan, uh, AJ Styles, and Kurt Angle from the previous three years I went to World Wheels Convention. But you know what? I still got to meet the guy. And, you know, I definitely have the respect for him for, you know, um, you know, staying a little bit longer since he came out a few minutes late. And um, for also still allowing those who were not, who have, have been waiting in line for, you know, since like five, at least the latest five. Again, there was still a lot of people behind myself and like the couple people around us that, you know, I was there, I was there with. There was a lot of people still behind us, but they, um, they let everyone go through and shake his hand and at least say a word or two to him, which, you know, I appreciate, you know, the fact that he was even, he was even, you know, uh, willing to do that as well. So as always, Roland, thank you again. You know, again, I know, you know, sometimes we don't, we're not happy with the way you're booked sometimes, but, you know, you're still a great talent. You still have done a lot of great things for this business for sure, whether, you know, people like it or not. And, you know, I definitely have much, even more respect tonight for the man of Joe Aniwai, a.k.a. Roman Reigns, of course. Um, and, you know, I keep praying for him, hope that he gets healthy soon and he'll be able to return to the ring because I'd rather see the man who's, you know, not always booked the way I, I, I like, you know, well, the way fans want, um, you know, in the ring than, you know, at home dealing with leukemia, for sure. So, you know, I definitely continue to say prayers for Roman Reigns that, you know, he gets to recover from his leukemia. And I was honored, I, even though I didn't get to get, you know, the typical, you know, autograph, photograph, graph um, session with him, I got to still at least you know, shake his hand, say a few words to him, for sure. And he was appreciative of what I had to say. So, guys, that is my brief thoughts about meeting Roman Reigns tonight at the War of Wheels convention. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Slap like on the video, subscribe for our content to my channel. Follow me on Twitter as well, at the man 93 And, guys, I will see you all later. So, until then, guys, have a great night. Peace out, everybody. And also, believe that.